Hello and welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are today. This is time to change. And I am Jason Forehand. I am thrilled today to be with my good buddy, Sam Kariki at Kua Zone. Look out, everybody. Let's give a big round of applause. So grateful to have him in the house this uh, this afternoon. What Actually, it's, it's what uh, evening for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, afternoon. Afternoon for you. Yeah, yeah so... Be. <laughs> 2 p.m. And tell yeah. tell the audience where you are. Where are you located? Right. So uh, first of all, thank you so much, Jason, for having me here. Uh, so my name is Sami Karyuki, and I'm based in Nairobi, Kenya. Love it. And Sammy and I today on the Time to Change podcast are going to talk about collaborations. Collaborations are one of the things that we are, it's part of our core tenets at HR for You Incorporated. And the reason for that is, hey, you know what? We want to do things differently than most nonprofits. We want to do things differently than most organizations. We believe in the power of rising together, not that being just a hashtag. And you might have seen that, especially in the United States, you saw we rise together a lot during the pandemic. But I really have always believed that that is something that should be a core tenet. And so for HR for You Incorporated, we have made it our mission our, to bring together great leaders, great organizations, great companies that, and, and other nonprofits that are all striving to put people first and make a difference in this world. Sammy is doing some amazing things that we're going to talk about in another segment, uh, as well as today about collaborations. And Sammy, I guess the first thing I would ask you is, hey, what? why does it make sense to collaborate with this old hockey guy and this nonprofit in the United States? Awesome. Uh, thank you so much uh, for this. Uh, of course, as I said, thank you for having me here. And of course, when you talk about collaboration, I believe that there's a saying that says we are, we are stronger together. And you know, when you look at it, if you want to make the world a better place, there are so many things that we need to do in our respective communities. You know, right. be it supporting uh, people get access to sufficient food, uh, be it you know uh, minimizing poverty. Even when you look at the sustainable development goals, you know, when you look at the seventeen of them. So there's so many things that we need to do to make sure that you know we make the world a better place, and of course you know starting with our communities that we live in, and when you look at it, there's no way one individual, one organization can achieve this. So there's need to bring people who have different capabilities, organizations that have different capabilities, uh, so that now when you bring them together, at the end of it all, you then have you know people uh, supporting and you know leading towards. Uh, making the world a better place, but of course, aligning it to various uh, activities that need to be done in our respective communities. And when I look at uh, HR for you, I think that is really what Chiston you are doing. And you know, like let's say for for us in uh, at Kuazon, we are trying to see how we can have our people get access to quality education, and of course, at a global scale. So when you see what you are doing, then you have other people, maybe other leaders working on a different uh, scenario. So once we combine all this, it then means that we able to have people uh, uh, accessing all the services they need within their communities. Yeah, that's. it really becomes something that is extremely fundamental and that we all want to work towards together. Like you said, in, you know, one of the things that I loved about what you were doing is how it teaches kids at different ages um, such great skills that are that add to their tool belt to help them get better jobs and to be more um, um, more able to do things in this world. You're teaching coding. You're te you're te I, I, I will say this. I, I'm literally almost sixty years old, and I don't know how to code. Uh, you know, so the I mean, some of your kids when I when I saw the 
what I saw the uh, presentation that you did uh, maybe a month ago and all those kids that were talking about the website and how they create it and taking their own little part, I was blown away. It is incredible the work that they're doing and how they're so excited about doing it and how they're so excited about learning. That's the beauty of, of children that they, they, they grasp that concept of constantly be learning. Uh, so I love this phrase by, by Einstein. It says, we are either constantly learning or we're dying. And I believe, I believe wholeheartedly that, you know, I, I learn every single day. Sometimes I learn, unlearn and relearn uh, all in the same day, but uh, I love that. Uh, so tell me how, um, with if somebody's watching this and our growing YouTube channel or um, one of our other platforms, tell the audience how collaborations might work for you. Like what what especially if somebody's in the United States, like how how does that work? What what do you see? Because I, I know you've got someone um, and I forget his name, but he's the doctor, he's part of the founders group. I've heard him speak a couple of times and I'm I'm having a senior moment, but you'll you'll tell the audience his name. He's in the U S and he's been helping you. So say how he's been helping what, uh, people in the U S and others can do to, uh, help you and collaborate and what that looks like. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, first of all, just to mention, if you're looking at making the world a better place, we need to see how we can bring people together from different continents uh, because at the end of it all, we are one. And this is something that I'm trying to drive at, you know, for our, our young people. Uh, so I'm looking at how we could enhance cross-border learning, cross-cultural learning, as between the American uh, young people and also like the African young people, because yes, we're basically here in Africa. So that's the, the, the thing that I'm very keen about. And when you talk about collaboration, then we are trying to see how can we get uh, our message out there uh, to the parents, let's say in the United States, uh, to the parents across the world uh, and also organizations like now uh, hr for you because of course by working with the, such organizations we can be able then to have um, uh, our, our, our our information out there in terms of what we aim to achieve so we are looking at collaborating with a, a wide range of stakeholders just to make sure that we give a platform we give a very good platform to our young people uh, that they can be able to uh, experience cross-border learning cross-cultural learning networking which again is also very very important if they're talking about collaboration they need to see yeah. like now for example we are here with you chason you're based in the us i'm here based in nairobi and we are you know through technology we're able to connect and support one another and that's the kind of thing that i would look at uh, of course we've seen technology uh, people saying that ai is going to do a lot of activities but i, I do believe that there's still a lot of activities that need to be done through the human connections and that is what we need to enhance Yes. Yeah, so that is really what I'm looking at. And that's why I've been very happy to collaborate uh, with the HR for you because I do believe that that is what you're trying to enhance. Uh, you know, maybe between just not just about the American and uh, the African, but also across the world. So we've had uh, our initial collaboration with a company called the Ethica Group. They are based in Florida, USA. And uh, for them, uh, the, the co-founder uh, and the lead is called Dr. David Wolf. And we are working with them uh, to support our mission, uh, to scale our mission, uh, to see how we can be able to provide a better platform uh, for the young people uh, by connecting the American families and their children, the African families and their children, uh, to be able to learn together, to co-create solutions for the global market. Because when you look at it, um, let's say, for example, when you look at Africa, we are saying Africa is rising and there are so many opportunities here in Africa. Uh, so we need to see how can the American uh, families be able to tap in to opportunities that we have here in Africa. So that's the kind of thing that we're looking at. And if we can nurture this from a very young age, I do believe that it can be something uh, very, very good. Uh, I think not just for the Americans and, of course, in this case, Africa and Kenya, but, of course, across the world. Uh, it's it's so fantastic what you're doing. And uh, Dr. David Wolf, right? Okay, that's what you said? Yes. All right. And yes. I can see his face. And I remember I've heard him speak before on, on one of the Founders Connect uh, uh, ish, shows, episodes. But I um, also 
I, I love that he's connected. I love that there are more people getting involved. And didn't I read in a post recently that you had uh, one of your first Canadian students sign up recently? Yes, exactly. So we, we are very excited. We already have onboarded our first Canadian uh, family and parents. So and the, and the kid. So wow, and awesome. they are very keen on the cross-border learning. And uh, yeah, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. Yes. Um, you know what? I, I, you know, I want to spend a couple of minutes before our time runs up for uh, our Time to Change episode. But we we do these deep dives for about 15 minutes to tell people what we're doing, why we think things are important. What's the last thing, kind of some final notes of what you would love to share with people, whether no matter where they are in the world, what would you like to share with other individuals to express how important collaborations can be for your organization? I know what you've seen, but you know, tell people why they should collaborate with others. Uh, yes. Uh, so as, I, as I've said, uh, let's say, for example, let, let me just use uh, our work at, at Kuazon as just as an, as an example. So you see, for us, we are trying to see how can we get our word out there uh, and also be, you know, get to be known. So we can't be able to do that on our own. Uh, and that's why maybe uh, by reaching out to people like HR, uh, US Chason uh, and also HR for you, be able to uh, get the word out there through uh, your platforms. And that's, I think, uh, happens to all the individuals because, of course, I know, I do, and I believe that all of us, you know, we are created with unique uh, capabilities and purposes in this world. So if we can collaborate with others, we can be able to optimize uh, our opportunities, our capabilities. And I think I would urge each and every one of us to see how best you can go out there and be able to network. I think for me, I've tried to like, you know, try to network with so many people from different nations and, uh, you know, keeping our word out there about what we're doing. And uh, through that, you know, I get a lot of support. And that is what I would also encourage uh, anyone watching this video to see how best can you be able to reach out to other people and collaborate. Initially, if I can just give an example, I never used to be a social media person. Uh, mm -hmm. So I never used to post and all that. But I realized for me to really uh, get support for, for my mission, I have to you know, network. I have to share stories about what I do. And through that, I'm able to get, then get collaborators and people who can support our mission. So I would encourage uh, all the viewers, let's keep on uh, talking to one another and uh, looking at and, uh, and sharing what we're doing and seeing how we can uh, coll collaborate and support one another. As I said, uh, for our case, we're trying to work with the young people, young children from the age of eight to 16 years, uh, sorry, to 18 years across the world. And we want to them to, to bring them together. They connect, they learn together and uh, with a vision that they can be able to co-create solutions for the global market. So I welcome everyone to uh, reach out to me and be able to see how best to work together. Thank you. Collaboration. That's what we've been talking about today on Time to Change. And Sammy, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure having you here today. If you would like to get in touch with Sammy, you could either reach out to me directly. You can find him on social media or right down here. There's the website.